tonight say, tonight go about the way you thought it would? Yeah, yeah. You know, we we you know we obviously want to get a win and uh, start the Big Ten Big Ten playoff the right way, and I think we came out and did that. You talk about Ricky's start. I mean, I think it was ten of eleven or nine of ten right away. Yeah, yeah. He just got hot really quick and and continued to do that. And you know, we all fed off that as an offense, and we were able to put some points on the board quick. What was your uh, view on the goal line play uh, where Christian got him? Uh, coming in. So not stop. Where Christian had the goal line stand. Christian oh, had the tackle oh, oh, on their that, quarterback. That, re that really gave Did us. That pump you guys. Yeah, yeah. It pumped us up as a as an offense. You know, unfortunately, we were we were pretty far back down in there. It took us a while to get going, and uh, we had to punt it away. But you know, as a defense to to hold them out, and that just gives us great confidence on offense. Was there frustration for you guys in the second half, or do you guys just kind of want to just take the time off the clock? Um, you know, they, their defense did some some good adjustments uh, during halftime. They must have because they 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 were stopping some of our runs coming out in the second half that were working in the first half. So that's just you know got to give credit to Penn State. They're they're a really well coached team. Why do you think you guys have so much success against Penn State? I mean, what is the confidence? What was the confidence level like coming out tonight? Uh, you know, our confidence level is really high. You know, um, and uh, I know before the game, you know, the media and stuff were saying that Penn State were the underdogs and stuff like that. But we we didn't fall for that. You know, we knew they were a good team and. And despite you know the the win today, they're they're still a good team. So I think we just take that mentality in in it uh, whenever we play Penn State. Is they're a really good team, and we're gonna have to play our, our best to win. This is perfect way to go in the bye, and then you have a pretty tough schedule after the bye. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna be a good week to you know kind of just rest and, and recharge our batteries, <coughs> and um, you know we're gonna have you know a lot more time to prepare for the next game, and I think that's good for us. Speaking of rest, uh, 28 carries tonight. How, how are you feeling? <laughs> really, really sore. But, um, you know, like I said, we got the bye week coming up, so I'll be able to heal up and, and get ready for uh, our next game. I thought you said you could handle 40 to 50. Oh, I, I think I handled it pretty well, um, you know, with help from my old line and everything. And uh, those guys up front, they continue to just do a good job and open holes for me. And, and uh, they're a big reason why I've had so much success so far. What did it mean to get Paul Cheney back out there? Uh, meant a lot, you know. He he provides a, a spark for our team. He's one of the fastest guys on our on our team. So so to get him back out there and, and let him do his thing in space is it really helped our offense. Was tonight more of a run to set the pass, or I think that's how it kind of worked. Yeah, I think I think you know we wanted to come out and, and run the ball and and, and and kind of prove a point early, and then you know later that would open up some some big pass plays for us, and I think it worked out really well. So what's your plan now with 28 carries and the soreness? What do you, what's the first thing you do tomorrow? Uh, going for going for rehab and treatment and get ice on on my problem sad. areas and things like that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ibuprofen, right? Yeah, ibuprofen, ice, all that stuff. Whirlpool. Just yeah.